What the hell is going on, people? How the heck are you? What's up, bro? You know, just another day. It's cracking, my dude. Living the dream. Look at this thing. We're two stroking it today. Yo, so I still don't have my freaking truck. We started making a video. I need to keep my address out of here. I'm like so stupid with my address, think. Yeah, if you want his address, God. DM me on Instagram. Don't. <laughs> you watch your freaking mouth, you Alex. Box. Watch your mouth, Alex. That is classified information. Whatever. So anyways, what's going on, guys? How the heck are you? It, dude, it's beautiful out today. Finally. I definitely can't complain. I feel like the last video we tried to make, it was all rainy and crappy. Probably. Right? Yeah. yeah, probably like yeah, that. Yeah. But today, I haven't had my truck in a while. We dropped it off last week. We started making a video about the build for my truck. I know a lot of you guys, I know a lot of you don't care, but I know a lot of you do care. So we're making a video for all the people that do care because the truck is going to be, dude, I was going to get it back by the beginning of the week, but we just keep doing, we keep thinking of different things to do to it. And we're like, oh, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, and this, and this. It's just going to be absolute insanity. It's going to be pretty. Dude, you thought my last truck was crazy. This truck, dude, this truck poops on the last truck. But we two stroking it today. This thing is bad. Look at this guy. Y'all want me to show bikes and stuff? Here, let's see this thing. Two stroke. Let's get inside and get to work before my neighbors call the freaking cops on me, per usual. Mm -hmm. figure it out. So, I was just talking to someone about my Instagram. My Instagram got deleted in October. It's already been that long. Yeah. It's almost 300,000 people verified all that crap. They just took it away. Gonzo. Gonzo. For being a conspiracy theorist. Like a jerk. I was just bored. You know? COVID, you're bored, you're researching things, you're thinking all sorts, you're going down rabbit holes, People you know? Rabbit convincing. holes are scary. Don't go down the rabbit hole. Don't. Makes your head all crazy. I wasn't thinking clearly. Whatever. I'll admit it. <laughs> maybe some stuff was right, maybe some stuff wasn't right. Whatever. It was so cool. Whatever, dude. Why do you gotta delete my stuff? Anyways, alright, so what are we doing today? People wanna see Kilo. Yeah. Everybody keeps asking about Kilo. He's, he's Kilo. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take him out. Oh yeah. Super stinky cage Kilo. Let's see here. Let's grab this dude out. All right, let's see how Kilo is acting today. Hey, my dude. Hey, bro. Oh, you're such a pretty freaking snake. Oh, God, I love him. Oh, yes. Ooh, dude, look at this guy. Yo, he is awesome. Such an awesome snake. Look at just how well he hoods up. Just stands straight up. He's focused on Alex. Big, beautiful. Dude, he's eating. He's eating great right now. He's taking down, he's taking down rats. Probably once every, I'm feeding him once every 10 days right now. He's been doing great. He actually, he hasn't even had a scented meal in a while. Look at him today. He's just like super hooded today. Uh, you're awesome, dude. Relax, just chill out a little bit. Chill out a little tiny bit. Let's, uh, oop. chill out here, man. Let's, uh, let's get you in this trash can. You know what? I actually want since he's in since he's being in a decent mood today. Um, I think I want you to take him out, Alex. So I'm just gonna put him just like this. Let's get this. Let's get the uh, the trash can situated, and let's do some some training. Let's get him out first, and then let's get the uh, the false water cover out because he needs uh, water and stuff too. So let's see how this goes. Okay. So I'm gonna switch positions with Mr. Alex here. Like Leo, so I'll see that. There we go. Kilo. Kilo. Doing good. That was a great little hood. He hooded great just now. Like he was stood straight up. Just focused on you the whole time. He didn't even turn around and look at me at all. He does he doesn't even care. He is He's such a very well mannered snake. Which is way different than this. Pearl. His girlfriend. She's uh she's a bit nasty. Yeah, she's a whack job. Alright, killer. So, she's got what you know what to do. Yeah, get the high box out there first. There you go. Mr. Kilo. Nice, nice, nice. Mr. Kilo. There you go. Hey, get that back end of his body. Now get a little bit more on his tail. Right on that tail. I like our man. There you go. Straight out. It's like, you know what you're doing now. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. There you go. Just 
monster. Okay. Try to level him out. Yeah, carry that. And the blood. Don't need to do any poses yet. I'll just put him in there. Right in there, nice and safe. Lid on. Not dead yet. All right, so <laughs> now let's. Uh, oh man, what's he's, going he's here? A little dirty for sure. He is a little dirty. So let's uh, fast forward through all this poop cleaning. Poop picking. And uh, we'll just go to a clean cage and put him back. So hold on. Okay. Here we go. Nice and clean. Cleaner than it was. Cleaner than. Yeah, just as clean as it was. Not bad, okay. As clean as he deserves. Things he deserves. Man. Mr. Kilo. Kilo Bram. How you doing, dude? From Ridiculous Things. In case you guys didn't know, Crocs are <laughs> crucial for handling snakes. It's actually one of the things they don't teach you when you're getting your venom sours is you do have to own a pair of Crocs. It really helps, you yeah. know? Because he, Kilo can sense that there's Crocs in the room, so he's not in danger. Don't look at the camera, bro. You gotta stay focused. <laughs> Once you get better at handling cobras, then you can start looking at things, man. Ooh, look how pretty he is. Look at that. God, he's such a he's beautiful snake, snake, man. You are a handsome dude. You know that? You know that, Mr. Key? Got some nice clean water now. Mm, delicious. Handsome little fella. Oh, that dude he's such a great cobra dude i freaking love that snake face of the program he really is i know i haven't showed him a whole lot somebody emailed me the other day they're like hey Ned, ever since you got batman you stopped showing kilo he's like nobody cares about him anymore i'm like what are you talking about he's still my he's, he's still my dude just because i got other animals doesn't mean i forget about him you know what i mean oh speaking of other animals holy crap all right i'm gonna ask you guys something this is a big question too. It is, because I posted something, I don't know how many of y'all follow me on Instagram on here, but yesterday I posted something because I want to find, I want a baby, I want a puppy, so bad. I've been talking about getting a dachshund for years, like years and years and years. My friends growing up, my buddy Joey D that owns Infinite Irons, growing up he has had a million dachshunds, a lot of my friends have, um, I love them, they're great little dogs, they're super smart, they're little hunting dogs, a lot of people don't know that. Dachshunds are hunting dogs. They're very, very smart. Um, I love them, they're super cute. So I'm looking for a breeder out there, particularly soon. I've had a lot of people hit me up that they have litters in late March and late April and stuff like that. Like, that's cool, I would wait. But, wow. I've been, yeah, I've been looking for a while. So like, I would really like to find a litter that is available now, ASAP you know what bird. I mean? Huh? I said ASAP. ASAP, you know, I leave for Atlanta next week. But puppy time, it's puppy time, I need a puppy. Shiva is about to be nine years old, okay? So the way I think about it, Shiva, her last, she's probably got, hopefully, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give her five, yeah, five years. Five, yeah. I'm say like five years for Shiva, you know? So I want her the last few years of her life, she'll have like a nice little friend, Companion. maybe, maybe it'll help. Honestly, I've been reading a lot of things, I don't know if you guys know anything about this or believe anything about it, but when your dogs get older, like the last like few years of their lives, the last five years of their life rather, when you get a puppy, it kind of helps the longevity of your really? animals. Yeah, because it's like, it's like another it younger real. animal in their life and it produce, it's like this, it like triggers this like- the Younger energy, I believe. Yeah, dude, it's like, it's like grand, it's like, it's like older people that don't have grandkids, you know what I mean? Like people that never have grandkids, they tend, they may not live as long as people that do have grandkids. It's just like starts this new like spark in their life where it just like gives them the, you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I'm you guys could, they know you guys know me. what I'm talking they about? Maybe you can explain that a little better. What is with all these talks? I know, I feel like we've been doing videos lately. You're a wise guy, dude. I mean, you just really? so much I just say. like, I think, I just like have to like get it out, you know? I think these things in my head. In. Whatever. All right, let's get back to work. So Sorry. I know these people. They're, they're, <laughs> they're like, Tyler, shut up. Can you just get bit by a freaking false water cover already? So we're just gonna go in here. Woo we're just gonna wake this little dude up like this. Oh yeah, we're just gonna pitch him off a little bit like that. Let's get him out of here. This is always a good one. Yeah. He's, he's been getting better. Yeah. Should I take the glass off? Are we full cleaning? Um. No, his cage honestly is he not he that dirty, water, which is nice. So uh, we're just gonna get him out for the sake of getting him out for this video, and uh, give him some fresh water. You know? I do. 
All right, mate. Come on then. All right. So, smacking the camera. That is a boy. The girls get a lot bigger. So, females, way bigger. If that was a female, that thing would be like seven or eight feet long already. But it's a male, and he's darker and yeah. I had a female before. My female I got from Will Nace back in the day. Well, actually, yeah, Will had the snake. Then my buddy Brandon had the snake. Then Chandler had the snake. Then I had the snake. We got pet and passed it down from the whole bunch of this. Oh man, your you almost just got got, bro. The thing came right out after you. All right, here we go. All wiggly, wimbly. Oh, bip, 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 bip. oh this guy is a good buddy, Muskin. Oh man, how'd you get him? They get him wrapped up in there, dude. There you go. Oh, All right, come on, right there. Help oh, you, Dad. This buddy of mine. Yeah. No. Whoa. Oh. Man, that's close. I put it in the trash can. Yeah, in the trash can. <laughs> I just didn't know if we were actually cleaning or if we were just trying to get me bit. Uh, that's so good. No, we gotta clean these stuff, bro. Oh, man. What do you think? We just come in here to play all the time? Not all the time. Just, no, yeah, not all the time. Sometimes though, defrosting, all that stuff for the mangs. These guys are doing freaking fantastic. Everything needs some fresh waters. We gotta do that here today. You guys need some freshies? I need to get a new misting system for everything too, which I was talking to Chandler about the other day. Chandler, the one that Chandler has works really well, and his hasn't broken yet. I feel like the one that I got from Zoomed, it's crap, it broke. Pumed. Dude, Pumed. It breaks all the freaking time. Don't have me. I don't use spring water, though, in it, so that, that could be the reason why. <laughs> it, could be it, gets all, yeah, it gets all crazy, but. All right, so let's get this cage clean, and then we'll get Psychopath back in the cage. Oh, yeah, nice and clean, bro. Good freaking job. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, you ready? I don't know why I do it for him. I don't know why you do it either. You're the best though, Pepe. You're the best Pepe I've ever had, you know that? Top five. Top. <laughs> You're top. Let's see here. Hey there, Richard. Charles, whatever your name is. Joseph. Joseph. Chachi. Chachi. All right, I don't even know what his name is. Does he name? I don't think his name is. His name is, his name is false right over. Chachi. FWC. At this point, if we name him, All right, let's get him out here safely, sir. Nice. Oh. Oh. So here we have. A lot of people actually, you know, they'll they'll DM me and say, "What would happen if I get bit by the false water cobra?" And nothing really. Nothing will happen if I get bit by this snake. It's just good practice. But you can see. Once we're ready to get bitten, he How is won't... he not biting you right now? Because, bro. That's how it yeah. goes. How is that working? Look at him. Dude, is this the best that he's ever been? Oh, no, don't do that. He changed him. <laughs> he's a turd, bro. But like you can see. Did he get your skin? Barely. I felt a small prick. <laughs> from this small prick. <laughs> oh, small prick from a small prick. So yeah, I can't actually believe that he didn't bite me when I picked him up like that, but... Yeah, we totally thought you were just gonna get bit. Next time. That was the whole goal of this video. <laughs> Frick. Just to get Pepe bit. Don't worry, there's still a lot. Like, I actually can't believe this at all. I was excited. We just gotta, uh, keep... Oh, man! Oh! Holy crap. Is this the time? Nah, you look good. That's crazy. Yeah, of course. Of course we, like, actually hold him like a puppy dog, and he's just like... He's like, what are you guys you always... did bite your bit bicep. Are yeah. you bleeding? Oh! Oh, yeah, you are. Alright, so you did get a little bite. That's alright, though. Alright, so we're gonna have to do the Angie now. So we're literally gonna have to do nothing. <laughs> Rear Fang Snake. I've been a bit bunched by them. He'll, I'm sure he'll get a bit more. Nothing really happens. A lot of places you don't even need, they're not even on the venomous list. In Ohio, yeah, you can just have yeah, them. Yeah, you can just have them. A lot of places you can just have them. It's weird that Florida put them on the venomous list because literally it's like well, that's just hognose something. snakes. They should be on the venomous list too. If the freaking false water cobra is on the venomous list, the hognose they got that be. scary C word in their name. 
Yeah, but it's just, it's just them. The little kids can go get hog. Hognose snakes are awesome. There's one of the best snakes to have for a beginner kid. Like, Seriously. It's one of the best beginner snakes, and it's yeah, a rear fang snake. They don't even bite. Yeah, they don't ever They're awesome. <sighs> All right, so let's, um, what else we got real fast? I think let's, uh, I'm defrosting some hoppers and stuff in that sink out there. So let's just come in here. We'll just feed these mangs real fast. We'll do a little outro and then we'll peace out and I'll see y'all next time. So let's go get these rodents. Mang Shen feeding time. God, oh. Yeah, this chicken broth is freaking foul. Oh man, God, they strike so fast. And they strike so far too, so I don't really like to, uh, I like to use longer tongs when I'm feeding them. I don't know why I'm using these short, stupid things right here. Because they can totally strike that far. You gotta watch your hands, man. This guy eats so good. Come on, bite it and grab it. Oh, what are you doing? I mean, oh, there we go. Bite and hold. That's what we want. Let's get the, uh, let's see this little insularis. Dude, these insularis are getting so freaking big. Like, dude, look how big that little thing is. It's crazy. There you go. Dude, they slam down pinkies now. It's crazy. Like, no problem at all whatsoever. Now, you remember when they were baby babies? They're baby babies, they eat frogs and they eat lizards and they're a pain, pain to feed. But now that I have them over to pinkies, bro, they're growing so fast. Like, it's crazy seeing how fast all these animals are growing. Especially that last video I just did with those black spitters, the black and whites. Like, we didn't show the rain calls, but the rain calls is actually getting pretty big too. That snake eats like a champ. He's eating small rats once a week, growing well. Dingo, actually, I talked to uh, I talked to Steve the other day who got helps get the animals from Dingo into the country. Um, one of those other Rancals cobras that I had died a few months ago, so I got to figure out what sex of that Rancals is. So we got to sex that thing out soon, and then Dingo is gonna send me another one. So soon I'll have a pair of Rancals again. But right now they're just lonely. Let's get another pinky. Give it to this other freaking insular. So over here, we gotta organize everything in this room. Everything's getting a little crazy. That's what we're gonna do one day this week is just organize this room all nice like. Hey, would you like this? No, thank you. Oh, you like that old crap. Is there a freaking cockroach in there? What the heck? How did the cockroach get in that cage? Hey, would you like to bite this and hold on so I can leave you alone, please? Thank you. He bit it. Alright, well, I'm just gonna leave this pinky up in here. This snake will smell it and eat it. Well, I bother him too much. These things are eating great, so I'm not so worried about it. But, not bad, man. Not bad at all. You handled Kila. I did. No, that's what I you got bit by. Look. It bit me, it's real. Got bit by a false water cobra. <laughs> yeah, crazy thing. Nothing happened. It's obviously. Yeah. Obviously, I mean don't don't get me wrong There is people that have been bitten by false water cobras before and they have had weird reactions Don't go letting them bite you. Yeah, but there's this also people science. there's also people who get stung by bees That could die. There's mm -hmm. just everybody has different reactions mm -hmm. But most people for the most part the false water cobra Isn't even gonna give you a little tingle. It's like a rat snake with fancy teeth. Yeah, exactly Easy enough. All right. I gotta go to work Till next time, guys. Thank you for watching. I think we're at 350 now, right? 350. We're halfway to 400,000 followers. Make sure to tell your friends. Hey, Go friends. freaking hit that subscribe button. Click Go hit, button. The, uh, hit, hit the the bell. The bell hit the you know, the bell and all that thing. Type a comment. Gila. He's like, hey, are we done already? Showing off before we leave. Look at him. He's such a pretty snake. All right. So, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. You guys want to see some new videos? Some new video Tell ideas, what's see. going on. Tell us what snakes you yeah. want to see. Who do you miss? Yeah, who do you miss? We'll show you. We'll make videos just for that. Taruk, I'm going to try to make a Taruk video soon, but... She's a little crazy. Dude, she's crazy. Especially with the camera. As soon as she knows that the camera's on, she's just like, loses her freaking mind. So, till next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Y'all are the best. Peace out!